Hello and welcome to this video on how to add the database tool to your Moodle unit. Navigate to the unit and turn editing on. And then within the correct topic, add an activity or resource, select database and then click add which appears at the bottom. Everything in red must be completed so I'm going to give this a name as well as fill in the description box below that. The Moodle database tool is a limited resource, but it does work very well if you're trying to get the students to build up a collection of resources together in a collaborative way so that the, the students are then building up maybe a collection of websites or journal articles that they can all then search and uh, sort of navigate through themselves. So within entries, uh, do you require them to have it approved by yourself first? And are other students allowed to add comments to the entries placed by uh, everyone else to the database? The entries required for completion relates to the fact that if you're using this for maybe examination purposes or as part of an assessment, how many entries must they require before it's considered to be complete. The next option down is entries required before viewing. Now this works well to stop a student just going into the database, taking out any information they want and not providing anything for anyone else to see. What you're able to do is say to the students, you must make three entries before you're able to view any resource either added by the yourself or maybe another student. It means a student has to go out and look for the resources and then actively engage within the topic and the activity that you've set them. As part of an assessment you may also need to limit the maximum number of entries so a student may only need to find 10 particular resources. However, uh, if, if you're doing it to build up a bank of uh, different resources then you would not need to set a maximum number of entries. The Availability tab allows you to set when the database is available from in terms of access. The Read Only would allow you to uh, set it so that the students have accessed it, entered their database, can no longer add any more but still read the options there. The next option down is the RSS feed generator. If you use RSS readers, uh, you can get it to generate an RSS feed so that you're up to date with the latest entries from the database. The grade option uh, allows you to categorize where the grades, if it is going to be a graded uh, tool, go to within the gradebook. However, it will also create an entry of its own within the gradebook. The rating system allows you, if it can be a graded piece of work, to rate the entries within the database. You can average the ratings, count them maximum, or do a sum of the ratings that are given to each separate post. Once you finish that, click Save and Return to Course, and there is a database ready for you to use within your Moodle unit. Thank you very much for watching this particular video.